It's time for Rabbi Minkowitz's weekly Torah lesson. Here with his spiritual perspective and insight, Rabbi Minkowitz. Welcome to this week's Torah lesson. This week's Torah portion is Parshas Vayikra. The question of the week is, how can you come face to face with Hashem? So in this week's Torah portion, new book, the book of Leviticus, Vayikra, the Torah begins where God calls Moshe Rabbeinu, and he tells him as follows, Adam ki yakriv mikem karben Hashem, a man from amongst you that will bring a sacrifice to Hashem. Now that's the translation. The Hebrew word is, words are, Adam a man, ki yakriv that will bring close, mikem from amongst you, karben la Hashem, a carbon to Hashem. So the author may ask a simple question, if it's referring to a man amongst you that will bring a sacrifice, the verse should have said, Adam mikem kiyakriv. Why does it say Adam kiyakriv mikem that the person will bring from amongst you? Amongst you should say right after Adam. So the altar explains that the Torah here is teaching us a phenomenal idea, and that is as follows. Adam, we know, is referring to man, but Adam also refers to Adam ala elyon, where compared to God and high. Adam is referring to God. Adam, kiyakriv, that God will create an inspiration from above, that a person will be inspired, and his godly soul is going to hear the inspiration, and he's going to cleave to God. He's going to want to come close to God. So the author says, Adam, kiyakriv, when a person is inspired to come close to God, mikem, only a part of him will come close to God. Which part of him? We know we have a godly soul and an animal soul, and the only part that will come close is the godly soul, because the godly soul hears these words of inspiration. The animal soul is still busy being animalistic, not necessarily bad, but selfish, self-centered, and so on and so forth. However, the verse continues, what happens when a person when a person works on his animal soul, and we know there's different levels of animal souls, aggressive, more uh, finer animal soul, but when a person works on his animal soul, that his animal soul should also hear, hear, hear godliness, should also be sensitive to God, should also be excited about doing a mitzvah, then when a person goes ahead and brings a sacrifice, not only from his godly soul, but his, he works on his animal soul, then the verse says that he comes lifnei Hashem before Hashem. So the author explains, and there he explains as well, that when a person's inspired, Adam, we're inspired from God, then only part of you come close to God. Not only the part of you come close to God, the verse says that a person comes la Hashem, till Hashem. You only go so far. However, once you work on your animal soul, and your animal soul is inspired to come close to God, then the verse actually says, lifnei Hashem, you come in front of, in front of Hashem Himself. So the answer to the question, how can one come face to face with Hashem, is by not only studying Torah, doing mitzvah, and praying from an inspirational perspective, only with your godly soul, but when you bring and you inspire your animal soul to study Torah, do mitzvot, and pray, then you can become lifnei Hashem face to face with God. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson. This week's Torah lesson is dedicated to the memory of Baruch ben Ari Leib and Shlomo ben Yosef. May the souls be elevated by the Torah that we're studying in their memory. For more information about Chabad, please see our website.